Hey y'all, uh, so this is going to be the tutorial for the earrings that I showed the other day. Um, so what I have here is just a tiny amount of epoxy that's left over from a cup that I did. Um, it's not even enough, I tried to show you but it's kind of hard to see, it's not even enough to cover the bottom of the medicine cup. Um, so what I'm going to do is you want to take the pointy end of a silicone spatula, um, stir stick, whatever, um, and just put the tiniest bit of glitter in there and mix it together. You kind of want like a wet sand texture. Um, you, you want it to flow pretty easy, but you don't want it like running all over the place. Um, so it does, it works really well for epoxy that's been sitting up while you, you know, either epoxied another cup or glittered another cup. Um, cause it needs to kind of be in a little bit of a firmer, um, a little bit of a firmer texture. Um, so I'm just using a mix, um, actually, that'll be in another video that I have coming. Um, I can tell you, I'll list them below or on the video or whatever, what colors I used. I can't remember, but I know that the, it's like the coral um, from Glitter Design by Two. Uh, so what you do is basically... I have it, the earring back stuck into um, a piece of floral foam, and that just holds them uh, really flat and level. Uh, so you can put these, put the epoxy in there, and you just want to take that pointy end. That's why I'm using the pointy end, so you can like shove it into the. Um, I think it's called a bezel back earring. I think that's the the name that of what the actual product is. Um, but it has like a little lip on it. And so you want to um, kind of push it underneath that lip so that the epoxy will actually stay in there. So that's what I'm doing. And um, after I get the initial layer in, um, I kind of just take little bits and kind of because I want it to be domed um, I'll show you at the end of the video what I mean by domed but I just start taking little bits um, of the epoxy and glitter and just trying to put it right in the center um, so that I can like build it up a little bit because right now they're pretty flat um, so that's what I'm doing here I think I got too much in that one so I'm just trying to kind of get a little bit of it off and you want to like get down um, eye level with them so that you can see uh, to make sure that they're kind of relatively even I mean I know that they're going to be you know on either side of your head so they don't have to be perfect but I would rather them be pretty close um, so that's what I'm doing here just trying to get them as close as possible. So now I'm going to use a different color, Jasmine, from the new Royal Collection. And um, I have more epoxy. I'm trying to show you. That is actually way too much. <laughs> um, I should have split that into a few more colors, but I didn't. So. And this one is so pretty in real life. If you do not have this color, you need it. Over just straight stainless steel, like the earring backs here, it gave the prettiest, like, opaly color. It's so pretty. And I tried to zoom way in, so I hope that the quality is okay. It looks okay on my computer screen, but... Um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing because I, I really tried to zoom in pretty far. So again, I'm just kind of showing you how I like scrape it off just to try to get it kind of right on the bottom um, or the tip of that uh, spatula. And you just kind of have to dab it in. If your epoxy is a little too set up, you might want to hit it with a heat gun just to warm it back up a little bit. And um, it'll flow a little bit better. But 
be careful though because you don't want it to be like I was saying earlier you don't want it to be too like liquidy you know so you don't want it to be like fresh mixed epoxy that's going to be too runny and it's just going to run all over your um all over your foam it's going to come out of the the little bezel back Like I said, I mixed way too much. Um, I should have split that epoxy up. But these are so pretty, I don't mind having a couple. So, um, I got these on Amazon. Um, I could probably drop the link. So yeah, I think the pack that I got came with 30 um pairs of these earrings so um and i think it was like seven dollars so it was really not bad These would make great gifts. Even if you just wanted to um, make a matching pair for, you know, whoever you're making the cup for, <laughs> just take some of your leftover glitter after you make the cup and a little bit of leftover epoxy and you have a pair of earrings for, you know, that match the cup that you just made. <laughs> They'd be good things to give away. And um, these particular ones are surgical steel. Um, I have a metal allergy, so I can't wear like um, the ones with nickel or um, what's the other one? Sterling silver. I can't wear. Um, but the ones that are the the surgical steel seem to be fine for me. So here I just added a little bit of um, I think it was Cinderella. I don't know. It went by already. Um, and I just added that straight into the mix of the jazz, jasmine, is that what it was, jasmine? <laughs> um, just to make it a little bit different since I already had two of the other one. And uh, I actually really like the way it looked. It, that kind of silvery look that's in there um, really added a cool effect to it. I think so far the um, the two that I just did in the middle there are my favorite followed by any of the color shifts um, any of the new mixes the princess and the frog Sully um, deja blue any of those look super cool um, as an earring and if you don't like the post style um which is what these are um i think i did see where they had some that had like the hook and with the dangling um little circle that you could fill so if you prefer like a dangling earring um they have that as well and you would kind of just do it the same um i would still probably do it on the foam just because it's easy <laughs> but um you just want it to lay flat. Okay, so here's where I'm going to show you the dome to the best of my ability. Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't really want to focus and ignore my nails. I need to fill them. Um, there, you can see I just kind of made it dome over a little bit. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys.